always knew I wanted to become a doctor who studied day and night and graduated as valedictorian from high school, college, and medical school. But I almost didn't make it through residency because of a thyroid problem. An interesting thing happened to me during medical school. I was the dummy for everyone to locate the thyroid gland on a You see, my thyroid was so prominent that they used me. This led to a series of doctor visits for me. But all the doctors would tell me was, your thyroid is borderline. After medical school, I got married and started training to be a surgeon at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. I would come home and be so exhausted that all I could do was sleep. So I thought, now my thyroid must surely be a problem. And I went to a doctor to have my new symptoms and still large thyroid checked. But again, I was told, your thyroid is borderline. You're having a hard time with residency because surgical residency is hard. You might want to consider another specialty that is less demanding. In that moment, I saw my dreams shattering. Fortunately, someone recommended I get a second opinion. I was put through a more extensive battery of testing and it was determined that I had an autoimmune problem known as Hashimoto's disease. So Synthroid was prescribed and at first it seemed to help. But over a few months, the fatigue came back. To my good fortune, a professor of mine from medical school had recently developed a revolutionary new way of treating low thyroid function. Dr. McDaniel taught me how to optimize my thyroid hormone levels and thereby my energy. Suddenly, I was leading 5 a.m. surgical rounds and had energy left to spend quality time with my husband. This saved my marriage and my career. I'm grateful that I found help before it was too late. And I am most grateful for the privilege of helping others optimize their health.